right, well, it's that time of year. I know I'm getting excited. Are you excited about the start of basketball season? Oh, yeah, you know, you're always looking forward to it in the fall, and you go through the conditioning and think, oh, this is awful, it's never going to get here. <laughs> uh, but as soon as it does, you know, it gets close to it, then you really do start getting excited about it. Well, of course, we got Midnight Madness coming up on our... Oh. What, you know, and I've asked other people this, but what does Midnight Madness do for your team? Is it really just an introduction to your team? Well, I think our players, for one thing, I think they really love it. Mm -hmm. I mean, they get psyched up about it, and they plan what mm -hmm. they're going to do, what they're going to wear, how they're going to come in. And so it is a big deal for them, and they love to be out in front of the people like that. And it's just it's just another thing that really gives them something to look forward to on the first day of practice and the excitement all around it. So it's a great experience for the people that have been here, and then the freshmen, I know their anticipation you know, is, is pretty high on what's going to be like and everything, so it's a good deal for everybody, I think. All right, 27-4 and four last year, PBC Tournament champions. Um, you, you hosted the regional here for the first time in program history, 54 wins over the last two years. Obviously, the program's on solid footing. What are you expecting this season? Well, you know, you're expecting, yeah, I know, I know, yeah, you're exactly. expecting to get better, but yeah. then you look at the schedule yeah. and, and what we did the last couple of years, and, mm -hmm. you know, 27-4, and four, that sounds really good, and it yeah. is really yeah. good. You know, I, during the year, sometimes I go through there and I think, man, are we this good or not? You know, <laughs> obviously, the players have proven that they are. And the thing that that does is, you know, they just become more and more confident and their expectations are to win every game. And, and that helps so much because, you know, talent-wise, I don't know if, if you went uh, top to bottom on the rosters, if we're really as talented as some of the other teams. But, mm -hmm. but they have that little swagger, you know, I think mm -hmm. in a good way that they believe they're going to win. And so, you know, our goals at the beginning of the year, we talked about it, and we really didn't have any goals. You know, we, we know what our goals are. We feel we can win every game that we go out there. Um, I think our goal is to win the national championship, and of course, along the way, you try to win the Peach Bell Conference, Peach Bell Tournament, and of course, to, to get to the regional championship and host it. So, mm -hmm. so our goals are pretty easy. Uh, three or four <laughs> well, years not easy. They're easy to set out. Easy but to set, set out. Yeah. But three or four years ago, you know, we realistically, realistically, probably couldn't set them like mm -hmm. that. You know, we had to go through and hey, let's try to get 22 wins mm -hmm. out of this in the tournament, whatever. So, uh, expectations are very high for our team, but again, you know, I think our confidence is high. Also, November 10th, first real game. What are you going to be doing over the next few weeks to get ready for that? Well, I think, you know, we're going to put some new wrinkles in. I think, you know, we got away last year putting a new offense mm -hmm. in, and it was pretty basic. Uh, have good players that execute it. Uh, but I think, you know, people are going to see that. They're going to scout it. They're going to look at it through the summer. They're going to look at the fall mm -hmm. and try to come with some different wrinkles defensively to stop us. So, uh, on the other hand, we're going to try to do some things offensively and maybe put a couple special plays in there uh, to try and prepare for that. And you know, I just think obviously we need to work the freshmen in a little mm -hmm. bit and get them comfortable with it and try to get them to improve as quickly as they can so that they can help us out. We have a small roster, yeah. and so we got to have everybody being able to play. You mentioned it. you got three newcomers and eight returners. You know, that's but that's a good thing. Most people don't have eight people returning. So, that's, you know, how are they going to be incorporating the newcomers incorporated to what you already have, which, as we mentioned, is pretty solid footing. Yeah, and we talked about it and have talked about it with the players a little bit, you know, those eight players coming back from a team with that type mm -hmm. of record and being this quality of Division II basketball, it's going to be tough for the freshmen to fit in there, mm -hmm. but they're going to go against them and practice each day. They're going to try to improve, you know, in the minutes that they can get, be it two minutes before mm -hmm. halftime or two minutes at the end of the game, whatever they can get is going to get them that much better. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like coming to a school where, you know, you're 500 and coming back for another year. Uh, this is one of the better Division II teams. so. Their goal is just to work hard and try to get some minutes in. You know, I think we'll be able to find some minutes there at the playing time, and the more they get, the better they're going to get. So uh, it's kind of a catch-22. You want to get them in there, but mm -hmm. then again, our, our schedule's so tough. And, yeah, exactly. Uh, we're at home all the time, uh, which may be good or may yeah. be bad, but it's going to be tough for them to get in, but when they do, they need to take advantage of them. But finally, I do want to mention that, you know, the starts of the year, you know, that you're talking about the schedule's brutal, but it's nice to have all those games at home to kind of kick off the year. Right, definitely. You know, we I scheduled them very tough. I think five of the first mm -hmm. six made the NCAA tournament mm -hmm. last year. Uh, but that's what you want. You know, when our program is, is at the level that we're at, you know, we don't really need any cupcakes in there because those do not, nothing for your team. Um, even if you had cupcakes in there and your freshmen were allowed to play quite a bit, you know, it gives them kind of a false yeah. false feeling because that's not the competition they're going to need mm -hmm. to go against. So, very tough schedule, uh, but hopefully we'll be prepared and you know, we've got to be ready to go because those teams are coming in here yeah. thinking, hey, you know, I've got a shot at beating them, knocking them off, and uh, I'm sure we have a big target on our chest, so we have to be prepared mentally and physically and ready to play good basketball from the start. I know. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you.